So the equity markets were volatile during the third quarter. Uh, we saw the averages dip in July, grind higher through most of August, then fade again in September, uh, with the Russell 3000 ending essentially flat for that three month period. And so there were a number of factors that impacted the market during the period. One, the pandemic, uh, which saw a wave, but that seems to be dissipating. Interest rates backing up toward the end of the quarter, uh, which we think is the primary reason markets declined in the back half of the quarter. Uh, corporate earnings have been pretty good overall, but there are some supply chain issues that are having an impact now. Um, you know, we saw the Evergrande collapse in China, kind of create some fears that there could be financial contagion. And then lastly, lots of legislative things happening in Washington that could have important ramifications for the markets. These issues all have potential ramifications for the market, including the impact on tax rates, the amount of stimulus that we're going to see, and of course, whether um, there's a government shutdown. Uh, so if, if the debt ceiling isn't addressed. So these are all things that have occurred and are occurring and that we're monitoring closely. The sustainability leader strategy slightly outperformed uh, the Russell 3000 during the quarter uh, with materials, healthcare, and technology contributing the most to our relative returns. Uh, the individual holdings that contributed the most were Danaher, um, Microsoft, and Costco. And all of the companies um, are performing at a very high level in terms of both their growth and profitability, and they help drive returns higher uh, for the overall portfolio. We did not have a lot of portfolio activity during the quarter, uh, but we did add two securities and sold out of one. Uh, we decided to replace Unilever with McCormick, uh, which is a leader in food seasonings and flavors. It's a high quality business that has lagged recently due to the negative impact from COVID, uh, but they are providing us with a, an attractive entry point as a result. Uh, we like that it's levered to the healthy eating trend as seasonings are a much healthier substitute for ingredients like sugar and fat. Uh, we also added on semiconductor, uh, which designs, manufactures, and markets semiconductor and power management components. So we view on as a very attractive restructuring opportunity uh, under a new management team. And it's also levered to very attractive uh, sustainable growth markets like electric vehicles. The sectors that detracted the most from performance during the quarter uh, were communication services and industrials. Uh, within communication services, not owning Alphabet uh, hurt us on a relative basis, as did our holding in T-Mobile, uh, which is facing a, a pretty difficult competitive pricing environment. Uh, within industrials, uh, Herman Miller Knoll and Residio Technologies, uh, both are struggling with some supply chain issues and rising logistics costs, uh, and that was a detriment, I think, during the quarter. In general, we feel fairly confident that economic growth will continue to trend in the right direction, uh, but likely at a slower pace than the first half of the year. Uh, we think the supply chain and logistical issues many companies are facing will eventually loosen up, and that corporate earnings should also trend higher next year. But of course, we can't predict with a high degree of confidence sort of the direction of interest rates or you know, the prospects of financial uh, contagion uh, coming from China, uh, moving into other markets or what's gonna happen in Washington. But we will be monitoring these issues and the potential impact on our holdings and we're prepared to, to react if conditions warrant.